What's up Transformer fans? So I went to Walmart last night looking for a bag of Skittles because I was actually shopping at another store earlier for Thanksgiving food and I also wanted some candy but for whatever odd reason the store by my house was sold out of Skittles all over the damn store so my only options was to drive to Walmart and get it but I did not feel like going there that early so I said you know I'll go to Walmart in the middle of the night and get my candy which I did and I thought it was going to be less busy, but I was wrong. There were still quite a few shoppers in there. This was like around midnight, mind you. And there were shoppers fighting over turkeys. I was like, yeah, this is why I do not like going to Walmart in the middle of the night. But anyways, I got my candy. I also went over to the toy section and I saw these beautiful Generation 1 Transformers, which are the Transformers that I grew up with, that I grew up watching back in the 80s. And of course, you know, I watched uh, uh, Beast Wars and Beast Machine in the 90s and so on. And, uh, you know, Transformers Energon, Transformers Armada, and all of that. Um, but the best thing about these is that they are super cheap. They are $5 each. They are exclusive to Walmart. And they do not transform. So you only get the these characters in their robot forms as they are shown here. But as soon as I saw these, I had to pick these up. Because I was just feeling so nostalgic for these characters. And, you know, th these this was pretty much my childhood these transformers not that michael bay crap but to be honest with you guys i did enjoy the first live action movie i didn't i did also enjoy the second one to some extent those were like the only ones i bought on dvd i saw the third one in theaters after that i gave up on them i was like yeah i think i see what michael bay is doing with this franchise and i was right he just come, kept pumping out more of the same crap and i guess i don't know it kept making more money but um i do know the new uh, Bumblebee movie is going to be a prequel. Michael Bay has nothing to do with that movie. He's not directing it, but it still has some traces of Michael Bayism in that Bumblebee movie. So I don't, I don't think I will be seeing that on the big screen. Um, but I did see some things I liked in that trailer. Like there's like I'm assuming this is a flashback scene of Generation One Optimus Prime and Generation One Soundwave fighting each other. So that looked really cool in that trailer. Uh, but this this is my Transformers right here, guys. Um, and the articulation on these yeah, is uh, very minimal. Not really that spectacular. I mean, you only can move their arms. Here, if I can get my camera to focus on Optimus Prime. Yeah, you can move both arms, the waist, and the head. And it's the same for all of these guys. For the Autobots and Decepticons here. Now, they did also have at Walmart a Bumblebee one and a Shockwave one, but they were not Generation 1 figures. They were, like, from some other cartoon. Uh, so the only Generation 1 Transformers I saw in the box there in the toy section was Optimus, Megatron, Soundwave, and Starscream, which is awesome. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, why are you buying these cheap $5 Transformer figures when there are other Transformer figures out there that are made for adult collectors. Well, I can give you two answers for that. Reason number one is because I, I collected enough uh, Transformer figures over the years. Um, I would say around the time I was like mostly serious about collecting a bunch of Transformer toys was like over 10 years ago. Um, and... I think last year or two years ago, I, I collected little or small amounts of Transformers here and there, but nothing too serious. And uh, I know they do make stuff for adult collectors, like the Masterpiece Collection. And I have about two of them in my collection. I have Optimus Prime and Starscream. And if you want proof of that, here. I took them out here so you guys could see that I do indeed have the Masterpiece um, Optimus Prime right here. This one is special to me because this one I got, or this one I found at Toys R Us back when I, around the time I first got my driver's license. So, you know, I was just driving out to places on my own and I went to Toys R Us. And I was like, oh my God, the Generation 1 Optimus Prime. This is awesome. And I'm not sure if this still works. I guess we'll see. Hold on. There's a button right there on the Autobot symbol. Autobot. Transform and roll out. I want you to make a special run to Autobot City. 
Yeah, it does still work. That's awesome. So, you got the touch. Dun, 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 dun. You got the power. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Back when I was serious about, you know, collecting a lot of Transformer figures. So, uh, I will show you the Masterpiece Starscream one I found at Walmart. Like, geez. I had forgot how many years back I found this guy. I think around 11 or 12 years ago, I found this one at Walmart. Back when Walmart used to carry awesome stuff, I guess, in their toy section. Yeah, they still do, but not as much as they did back in the day. So, there's your proof right there that, I, you know, I did collect some stuff that were... Uh, not only made for the kids, but made for adult collectors too. And uh, I never did show my <laughs> my trans my box of uh, Transformers because I don't know it is just too plenty and it's a pain to dig that box up. But yeah, um, I just felt like showing this video to you guys because Generation One Transformers, how awesome is that? And these are for the older fans who grew up watching the, you know the cartoon. So this is for like the middle-aged guys like me, or the middle-aged guys or girls, I should say, <laughs> uh, for people like me who grew up on this stuff, um, even though probably a lot of you younger people out there grew up on the live-action movies and not the original show where the, you know, live-action movie was, uh, was, uh, making nods to get my camera to focus on Megatron there. So yeah, each one comes with this tag to show you that they are ex exclusive to Walmart. They have the name of the character and it shows that they are ages five and up from Hasbro. All right, so there's back of Megatron there. There's the front, the OG, original old school Megatron. Yeah. All right. I'll show a close up of Soundwave here. All right. It would have been awesome if his. Uh, <laughs> this uh, cassette uh, cassette tape player door opens up and you can release Ravage or something but these are not fully functional transformer figures these are just uh, figurines I guess is the term or action figures that do not transform pretty much but they look awesome I mean how can you go wrong with these they're five bucks each that is awesome all right so finally Let's get Starscream here. Uh, all right, so get my camera to focus on Starscream here. That's what I love about these. These are so cartoon accurate. So anyways, yeah, that's that. So that's pretty much it for this video. And these are at Walmart. You can find these in the action figure section where they have, you know, the wrestling figures, the Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Ben 10, uh, Funko Pops, all that stuff. Just look by the uh, Transformer stuff. Look on the bottom shelf. They should have like a display box full of a uh, assortment of these Generation 1 figures mixed in with like a Bumblebee and a Shockwave that are from a different cartoon, I think, because they were definitely not Generation 1, so that's why I did not buy them. Uh, but yeah, if you are a, a longtime Generation 1 fan and you, if you are thinking about buying these, um, you know, for five bucks, you can't go wrong there. I mean, it's super, super cheap. And yeah, the articulation is very minimal, but uh, these were, you know, made for younger children in mind, I think. Uh, as far as the paint quality goes, I don't know how long the paint will last. I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm going to be playing with these. These are going to be mostly on display. So, you know, it's not like I'm going to be scratching up these figures or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, if you are a Generation 1 fan or just a Transformer fan of all of the Transformer incarnations, then check them out. And I will see you guys uh, next time. So I'll see you when I see us. Stay awesome. Autobots, roll out.